Hello my friends! In today's video we are going to continue painting the Plague Marine. In the previous video I finished all the main parts of the armor and the weathering effects. Today we are going to paint all the metallics, the flesh parts and all the small details. If you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you know when new videos are coming. So let's get started. As you can see, I have been painted some parts with black. On these black parts, I will apply the metallic paints. I'm going to use Vallejo Model Air Rust and GW Lead Belcher. I'm using only a bit of water and I start painting all the parts of the model that I want them in bronze. Now I will use lead belcher. Again, only with a bit of water, I start to paint all the silver parts. After all the metallics are in place, I will apply some shades with washes. First, I'm using Agrax Earthshade on the bronze parts. Then, I will continue with Noon Oil on the silver parts. Next, with Rakath Flesh, I will paint the tentacles and all the other flesh parts. Once that's done, I'm going to use Reclan Flesh Shade to give a nice shade on the flesh parts. Next, I will use a glaze of Vallejo Game Color Violet Ink. I will apply this glaze at the edges of the tentacles. This glaze will make the flesh parts to look more interesting. I will continue painting with the glaze until I have the result that I want. For the highlights on the flesh parts, I will use again Rakath Flesh. I'm painting thin lines to create a nice texture on the surfaces. To 
paint the base color of the skulls on the solder pad, I'm going to use Xander Dust. After that, I will apply a shade with Agrax Earthshade. With the shade being completely dry, I will start adding highlights on the skulls with Usati Bone. Then I will apply one more highlight with Screaming Skull. Time to add some rust effect on the silver parts of the model. This time I decided to show you another way, not with enamel paint but with acrylics. I will use three rust tones from Life Color. The paints are diluted to a wash consistency. I will start by applying the darker tone first and going up to the lightest. As you can see, I don't let the previous paint dry completely and mix them while are still wet. With that way, we can achieve more random and realistic effect. To bring back some of the shine of the bronze, I will apply Vallejo Bright Bronze on the edges of the bronze parts. I will do the same on all the silver parts by using Stormhost Silver. Also, I will add some small scratches and dots. This will add more contrast on the metallic surfaces. To give some more shine and contrast on the bronze parts, I will apply a small amount of silver only on areas that the light is hitting the most. Next, with Nylac side, I am going to create the verdigris effect on the bronze parts. Finally, I will paint the eyes of the Plague Marine with Mephiston Red. Then I will apply the first highlight with Wild Radio Red. and a final highlight with Fire Dragon Bright. Last, with Vallejo Ivory, I will apply a small dot to give a sign to the eye lenses. And with that, my friends, the Plague Marine is finally finished. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that you found this video useful and if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. A huge thanks to my awesome Patreon supporters. See you guys in the next one. Bye!